Welcome Aries, this is Solomon. I want to welcome you to my channel, welcome you to Psychic Love Hills, and I want to thank you for joining me as well. These are going to be your uh, monthly energy readings for the month of March of 2017, okay? So what I'm going to do is pull out five cards for you for the month, and I'm dealing with your emotions, obstacles, the response to those obstacles, some advice for you, and then the outcome energy. Okay, so these are going to be general. They may not apply to everyone uh, in your particular situation, but try to um, match up with energies may resonate with your situation. Um, if you would like a private reading, you can always come to me so we can actually tap into what's really going on with you. Okay, so uh, we're going to tap into the, your emotions. Okay, first. It's going to be your emotions. Energy for Aries for the month of March 2017. Emotions. Okay. Then we have uh, obstacles. Hmm. Response to those obstacles. Advice. And then we have uh, the outcome energy. Okay. And I'm going to pull three cards for you from. Doreen Virtues uh, Romance Angels uh, cards, okay? And these are what they look like. Angels Energies for Aries for the of March. Okay. So, I'm going to add these uh, numbers up here. So, we have five, six, seven, eight. So, the overall energy here for uh, the monthly reading is uh, eight. Okay. And the eight is about movement, it's about change that's taking place, uh, possibly emotionally for a lot of you. I do feel like I'm um, here. With the two of swords in the uh, position of your emotions for a lot of you, that is contemplating um, about a decision that you have to make. And it can do, as I am generally reading for um, many love life uh, circumstances, but also general energies as well. The two of swords can mean many different things. You may be at some kind of crossroads. You may have a choice in love and marriage. Your beliefs could be challenged in a certain situation that you're in. Um, let me clarify the Two of Swords here for you. All right. Clarify the Two of Swords for Aries for March 2017. So with that Two of Swords, these cards right here want to pop out. And it does look like for some of you, it's like you're maybe there's a new relationship for some of you. OK, this could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer that some of you are dealing with. And it's like you are restricting yourself, you're in chains. And at Two of Swords, it's like a, do I want to re uh, release myself from this kind of scenario? Do I want to accept this love relationship of this kind of offer uh, that's out there for me? And I do feel like the hermit here, for some of you, 
you're uh, isolating yourself, you're restricting yourself and not really making a decision just yet. It's like you're contemplating whether or not to move forward with this. For whatever reason, some of you are kind of uh, pulling yourself back uh, due to fear, certain thoughts that you may be having, certain restrictions that you're... Um, and these could be self-imposed. That's what it seems like to me for a lot of you. And uh, that's your emotional state right here. And it's like keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So this is, you know, maybe you don't feel that this person is right for you. All right. Maybe your beliefs are being challenged in a certain situation because we do have obstacles here. Obstacles as the uh, Hierophant and is a major arcana. So the Hierophant here as a challenge is like going against the uh, status quo. Maybe someone is challenging your beliefs in love. Maybe you are married and you're not wanting that marriage. Maybe you're thinking about uh, renewing your vows, you know, your commitment, uh, whether this is your spiritual beliefs when it comes to love and relationships. Uh, maybe you are... Um, Thinking of whether or not to kind of change your belief structure, you know, something something completely different from what you usually kind of um, get involved with. Maybe this person, this new relationship is someone that's uh, unusual, unorthodox, not the same type of person that you used to know. Uh, the Hierophant card can also um, be the card of Taurus as well. But in the upright position, it's uh, a lot of conflict, though, because it is five. All right. And the five is about conflict, loss and change. So some of you may be wanting to keep the status quo right now and due to your beliefs being challenged or you're just not sure of how you want to move forward in a certain situation. All right. So this is an obstacle for a lot of you. How do you deal with that obstacle? So we do have the uh, Queen of Swords. So this could be um, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. But I do feel here that you are if you're dealing with someone who is, you know, constantly challenging your beliefs. I feel like you are trying to be firm. You're trying to make logical decisions. You're trying to be more independent. If you are communicating with this person, you're kind of taking the approach of um, leaving the emotions out of the equation. You're being a bit more detached, a bit more wanting to know what the facts are in a situation. You're not wanting to listen to any more guilt trips or anything like that to kind of um, steer you away from making the right decisions that you actually want to. So um, this could be an actual person, but I do feel like for some of you, you are taking on the energies of the Queen of Swords where um, you could be a lot, a lot more communicative uh, with this person. You could be a bit more playful as well. But also, you know the difference from being a bit more um, stern, detached, and not uh, giving into any kind of um, sob stories in a way because you can see how serious she is right here. You know, if someone has kind of hurt you or has um, used your emotions as a, a weapon, okay, towards you in a way, um, you're not having it anymore. So I feel like a lot of you are responding in that way being a bit more independent and you may be seeking a lawyer in the case and has maybe has something to do with marriage okay for some of you you um may be seeking a lawyer in a case that you're dealing with maybe some of you want a divorce and um an attorney or something like that um it could be anyone someone um, that you are around all right so this could be a love interest it could be a friend or anyone the queen of uh swords here but we do have advice is the ten of cups in reverse so this energy, as the universe is telling you, that some of you may be experiencing some uh, sadness, okay? Maybe there's a connection that you want to make with someone and they're not opening up to you or vice versa. You're not opening up to another person with this energy of the, um, the, uh, <laughs> the hermit in reverse. Like, you're not wanting to take advice from anyone. You're not really wanting to be seen by anyone. You're not really wanting to maybe socialize because of um, whatever thoughts that you may have due to fear, due to any kind of blockages, due to um, anything from the past that you could be experiencing. And it just seems like a lot of you are not happy. But the advice is to try to turn this energy around. 
uh, go for what you want. If you do have a new offer of love for some of you who are single, uh, go out and date. If this is maybe the birth of a new child, the birth of new ideas, the birth of new abilities as well, uh, psychic abilities or any kind of spiritual um, insights that you may have been receiving. But this energy is turning your emotions around to be a bit more stable. You know, you need to focus on that. I feel like uh, a lot of you, there is a relationship there, but it may not be a happy one right now. And if you're not happy in that relationship, uh, the Hierophant is kind of telling you here to kind of, you know, release yourself from that bondage or whatever relationship is not serving you right now. So I feel like it's all come, come about if you do have a, a heart to heart conversation It says, uh, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So whether this is from someone from your past or someone uh, new in your life, you need to kind of uh, talk to this person about how you truly feel with honest communication with the Queen of Swords is a very honest uh, person. Okay, sometimes she can be very blunt and sharp, but sometimes it's necessary to kind of um, put all of the uh, the emotions aside where you're allowing them to control your decisions. But we do have the outcome card as the uh, King of Wands. And the King of Wands is, you could be, this is your energy, I feel, for a lot of you. But also, it could be another fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is usually the Sagittarius card. But this is a, a very attractive male, okay? Someone who is um, a bit high strung. Sometimes they can be a bit conceited <laughs> at times. A lot of attention actually comes their way because they are uh, like a magnet when it comes to others, but they can at times be a bit um, hasty about the words, you know, words that they say, the way they communicate. They have a lot of different ideas and things to do. Um, they may come about and they want to get those off of the ground. So they may actually build um, good teams, good camaraderie with others. But sometimes they can be a bit bossy, okay, because they can be an overachiever at times. But uh, you can almost see how serious, um, if I could put that there, how serious his face is. Like he wants to fight in a way. He's very passionate very energetic. So that fiery nature for a lot of you, you know, with that, the outcome card, you may be feeling like you want to lead the circumstances that you are in. So, you know, it's all about enterprise leadership and um, uh, building uh, within yourself. Your personality is a uh, very much, um, it's like a lot of magnetism, okay, coming towards you from others. And we do have a card of love yourself first and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so if uh you do feel disrespected you know if you don't feel that you love yourself enough to make the logical decisions to kind of leave a certain relationship that's not healthy for you sometimes this is uh being on your own sometimes to gain that self-respect and the love and the space that you need to kind of heal from anything that you have been going through and this is a card I actually do want to read for a lot of you, okay? So let's check and see what this card is for you, all right? Damn, damn, damn. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we go. All right. If you desire more romance, first look at yourself in a caring and non-critical way, of course. The more you love who you are, the greater your capacity to feel love to buy others. This means trusting yourself to take good care of you and it may entail becoming more assertive. Don't worry, you can still be very lovable while affirming your boundaries. Perhaps this means spending some time alone instead of in a relationship. And during this period, you can delve into introspection to understand the patterns of your love life. Ultimately, you can take responsibility for attracting and agreeing to every relationship you've had. To heal your heart, find the blessings and lessons you gain from each one. For instance, have you become stronger, more independent, or more patient as a result of your prior partnerships? If so, let everything else from the past go except for the lessons and the love. This card emphasizes the importance of loving yourself first, especially as you prepare for your next relationship or heal the one you're in. As you gain self-respect, you'll begin attracting more loving people into your life and this will lead to healthy friendships and romances based upon mutual respect. All right. So it does seem to be a big decision um, that a lot of you are uh, making uh, revolving around your beliefs, uh, a relationship with an air sign. Um, 
uh, maybe with the water sign. It doesn't have to be, but some of you may be uh, kind of pulling yourselves back for some reason. You know, what is this all about? You know, some of you may be aware of the energies of this Eight of Swords. So I do hope that you have a fantastic month. You know, to see this as an outcome card is a very good card. So sometimes this is a new job. OK, new leadership role for some of you. Well, this may be a new individual, a new relationship partner in love. Um, the birth of a new child, you know, a very playful energy, a new relationship. So a lot of you are trying to make a decision of how to move forward. I feel and re free yourself from any kind of restrictions. So lots of love to you. I do hope that you have a fantastic month of March. OK, and uh, thanks so much and uh, have a good one. Much love.